My name is Dr. Rosie Cole from Surrey Business School, and I'm the Associate Editor for the Supply Chain and Operations Management Division of the European Management Journal. The vision I have for developing the supply chain and operations management part of the journal includes seeing high quality research on operations and supply chain management and processes, including service and production innovations, uh, data management and technological advancements, algorithmic decision making, additive manufacturing and the circular economy, closed loop supply chains, life cycle assessment and reverse logistics. I want to see authors unpick sustainability, risk, disruption, collaboration and see work on modern slavery, the management of humanitarian logistics, outsourcing and global procurement. In terms of industry context, there are so many interesting places to set your research as an operations scholar and we are open to all of those. I don't mean for this list to be overwhelming or excessively broad, but there are a lot of things that would excite me should they come our way. So it's well worth asking yourself. Could my research be a good fit for this publication? Although topics under the supply chain and operations management are liberal in suitability, there are things you can do to increase your success with the journal. I do like to see how the manuscript has been developed to consider the European focus. This doesn't necessarily mean the research needs to be based in Europe or even provide a comparison necessarily, but show us why you've chosen this journal for your work by explaining how the European context is at all relevant. Perhaps in your cover letter, you could tell us what you've done to prepare the submission for the European Management Journal. For example, has it been through a friendly review with a critical friend? Have you presented it at a conference and incorporated feedback from international scholars? What's different about the European Management Journal for authors who are used to publishing in the supply chain and operations management field is the bigger focus on management. This forces our discipline to apply their findings to the wider management space, which a lot of the time we should be doing anyway, for example, through implications on other parts of the business. So as a management journal, I like to see a section on implication on theory and management practice at the end of your manuscript, if it's suitable to do so. Let the European Management Journal be an outlet for your work where a diverse audience get to benefit from your findings, from international scholars to practitioners, policymakers and society as a whole. The single piece of advice I would give someone starting out in the publishing process is to have some confidence in your study. I would encourage PhD researchers and your supervisory teams to consider the journal for the output of your work. Although I would expect papers to be designed, crafted and finessed to a high level, it is no secret that doctoral researchers are sitting on some of the juiciest and novel data around. The European Management Journal support authors with proofing and a strong social media presence, promoting your research and study outcomes. This in turn is likely to lead to more people reading your paper, better impact and higher citations in the long run.